Servus and welcome back, it's Ontmoor again and in this video I will teach you how to set up your webcam and your webcam overlay with OBS Studio. Also, if you need labels for your webcam overlays, then in the next video I will show you how to set up your labels with Stream Elements, Streamlabs and Ont.pro. So if you've been following this playlist already, then you know that we're setting up our full stream with the Brave series package from Ont.tv. In the first couple of videos, I taught you how to set up your intermission banners. And for this video, we have to create our first scene. Since I'm a gamer, I will create a gaming scene. Go to the bottom left of your OBS Studio and click on Add in your Scene section. Now we will create a new scene, I will call it Game. Confirm, and now we have an empty scene. So first, we will need to add the webcam. To do so, we go under the Sources tab, we click on Add, and we add a video capture device. We will name this webcam, obviously, and then confirm with OK. And as you can see, here is my second webcam that I set up just for this video. If you have multiple webcams and you're not sure, you can click on Device and choose the webcam that you actually want to use. For the sake of simplicity, because there's so many different webcam versions and settings out there, I will not teach you how to perfectly set up your webcam. If you need more help to your specific model of webcam, just go onto Google or YouTube and you will definitely find a lot of videos that help you to find the perfect settings for your webcam. All I will do for now is set up the resolution to custom and choose 1920 by 1080. <sighs> Better. <laughs> so now that I've like... <laughs> so now we've like resized the webcam and it's here. Now we need to add the webcam overlay. To do so, click add in your sources tab and add a media source. We will name this media source webcam overlay. We confirm with the OK and then we go into our local files into our Brave series premium English package. Click on files, then choose the animated webcam overlay. And for this video, we will use the Brave webcam with the four labels attached to them. Don't forget to click on loop and confirm with OK. And there it is. Here's our perfect webcam overlay. Theoretically, all you have to do now is place the webcam overlay, resize it to match your webcam, and you could be done. But since not every webcam is the same, I want to show you how you can actually resize your webcam. To do so, let me drag out the webcam again. And first I want to show you how the webcam reacts. So if I left click and drag, it just makes it smaller or bigger. And it even changes the side if I want to. But you can also click and hold your Alt button on the keyboard. And if you do so and you move your webcam, for example here, you can see what's happening. What you're actually doing is you're cutting away parts of the webcam, which is very good because as you can see here on the right side, I had a lot of dead space. And now that dead space is gone without resizing my face and making it look weird. I mean, even more weird than usual, I guess. And you can do all sorts of things. You can also do this on the top. You click and hold your alt button and you pull down. And as you can see here, it's just a floating mouth. And as you can see here, this is the full screen again. Or you can zoom in onto your eyes and you look very suspicious to everyone. And that's it. So I'm going to resize this again. I want the full frame, but I'm actually cutting off a little bit of the side here. This is fine. And now my webcam could be ready to move. Now all we have to do is resize it again. But now we can see this is happening. So my webcam is actually bigger now. In this case, it doesn't hurt because the bottom part is also not very important to me. So what I can do is I can just alt and drag up here and that's fine and it works perfectly. There are also other options to resize and position your cam. Let me show you. So you can try to resize your camera by just dragging and making it smaller or bigger. If you have a different angle or size, what you could theoretically also do is you can click on the webcam overlay itself and then you can hold your shift button and then drag. What you're doing there is you're not resizing it, you're pulling it to the side. The downside of doing so is that it might interfere with the integrity and style of the element. So if you have a look and I hold my shift button and I drag, at some point the text will just look weird because it's just pulled so far apart. It might work and it might work for you, but I'm saying it's a risky way of doing so. So in this case, I will not use this technique for the webcam overlay, but it might work in your case. And also a little disclaimer to show you the horrors of shift dragging. This is a very wide old move. This does not look good. I mean, it's... Maybe it's your style. But this face has gotten even worse right now. <laughs> so let's, 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 let's undo this. Let's undo the damage. Or if you hold shift and pull down, then you got egghead old move. And I think this doesn't work well. So we're going to return to the actual original state. Move the camera back. It's perfectly suited. Looks good. Looks nice. And now we're pretty much done. Looks great, but I have two little extra tips for you. The first tip is now you have two single elements in your sources. And if you want to move them, you always will have to drag them both or you would have to click on both of them and then drag them together, which is obviously not very useful. 
So the first small tip that I can give to you is how do sources work? They work from a top to bottom principle. So whatever is on top will always be shown on top of the element that's beneath it. Let me show you what this means. So if I like oversize my camera a little bit, you don't see it because it's behind the frame. But if I switch the positions now in the sources tab, what happens is this, my webcam is now overlapping the frame because they switch positions in the sources. So always make sure to use the overlay on top of the actual element. We're going to switch this back now. And as you can see, looks perfect again. And the second very valuable tip that I can give to you is start grouping early on in your streaming career. What is grouping? Right now we have two single elements. If I want to move them, I have to move both of them or I have to click on both of them and then drag and drop them. Which is obviously annoying if you want to move your cam and you're playing around with it. And now you go into your sources tab and you left click and then shift or control left click. Quickly explain what is the difference between shift clicking and control clicking in the sources tab. So what does shift left clicking do compared to control left clicking the elements in your sources tab? When you shift and left click the first and the last element, as well as all the elements in between will be tagged. But if you use control left click on two or more elements, then only the elements that you actually clicked on will be tagged. So that's the major difference between shift and control. Right click and choose the option group selected items. And what happens now? The webcam and the webcam overlay are now in the same group. Now you have to name the group. We're going to call it the web webcam group. We're going to confirm and now one click and I can drag and drop and I can also resize it. And it always looks good and it always works together. Another, another reason why grouping is very, very great is if you want to turn off your webcam, you don't have to click off both single elements every time. All you have to do is click on the group visibility and it's gone and it's back. Easy as is. So this is very, very useful and I recommend you start grouping very early on in your streaming career. And that's it. We set up our webcam. You now know how to resize it and crop it. And you also know how to group your webcam overlay. And as promised, in the next video, I will teach you how to set up labels using Stream Elements, Streamlabs or Own.pro so that you can put those labels into your webcam overlay and all the other elements from our Own TV streaming packages. We at Own.tv wish you the best streams in the world, many new followers, no bots and very active new chatters in your stream. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next videos.